We present our work, Detecting Human Object Contact in Images. Humans constantly contact objects to move and perform tasks, like walking, sitting, and object manipulation. Reasoning contact is important for applications in many domains, such as 3D human pose estimation, understanding fine-grained human-object interaction, affordance learning, and sanitization. Prior work exists for detecting part-specific contact, for example, hand-object contact, or foot-ground contact. Other works estimate contact only in constrained environments with limited generalization. What we need, instead, is a contact detector for the entire body that estimates detailed, body part related, contact maps in arbitrary images. However, there exists no robust method to detect contact between the body and the scene from an image. And there exists no dataset to learn such a detector. In this paper, we fill this gap with HOT, a new dataset of human object contacts in images. With HOT, we develop a new contact detector that incorporates a body part attention module. The HOT dataset is introduced with 2D contact areas and the associated human part labels as annotations. To create a well varied dataset, we collect images from two different sources, hot generated and hot annotated. For hot generated, we collect images from the PROX dataset, which contains 3D humans interacting with 3D scenes. For each frame, we calculate 3D human to scene mesh distances. All human vertices with distance below a threshold and with compatible normals are annotated as contact vertices. We render the contact vertices per body part to get dense 2D contact areas. For hot annotated, we use images from HOI datasets like V Coco and Hake, and human activity dataset Watch and Patch. We hired professional annotators to draw polygons around the contact areas and assign human body part labels to them. Combining hot generated and hot annotated, our dataset has around 35,000 images and 160,000 contact area annotations in total. Based on the HOT dataset, we further design a new contact detector. Our model takes the insight that humans use global image context and also focus on regions around body parts to examine if there is contact. Given an image, we use a CNN backbone to extract image features. Then, we use a decoder with two branches, an attention branch for inferring attention masks for body parts, and a contact branch for extracting contact features. We use the attention masks to extract part-related features from the contact branch and make contact estimates. During training, we supervise the attention branch with human part segmentations and the contact estimation with our contact annotations. From the experiments, we can see that our model outperforms the baseline methods by a large margin. It also performs better than the model with unsupervised pure soft attention or no attention branch. This shows the benefits of our human part guided attention mechanism. Here we show the learned attention maps. Our model attends to meaningful regions around each human part whereas the pure attention model attends to the full body on certain channels. The rest are distracted by the background. We show some qualitative results here, demonstrating our method is capable of detecting meaningful contacts of human-object interactions. Our model can also generalize well to in-the-wild images from the Internet. We also conduct transfer experiments. The model trained on hot annotated generalizes well to hot generated, but not vice versa. This is because the hot annotated set is captured in the wild with a richer variation. Combining both sets further boosts performances. Here we show our full body contact detector is comparable to existing part specific detectors on foot contact and hand contact. 
we prove the usefulness of the hot dataset on the dense 3D contact estimation task. We lift our 2D annotations to course 3D to facilitate the training of existing methods. Results show adding hot data improves the 3D contact estimation accuracy for in the wild images, while not hurting the original datasets. Some typical failure cases of our detector are shown here. Our model might struggle with occlusions, multiple persons, or fine grained contact areas. These point out that contact detection may benefit from adding human pose information, multi resolution reasoning, and differentiating human object contact with self contact and person person contact. Thank you for your attention. For more details, please refer to our paper. The code, data, and pre-trained models are available on our project page.